Jesse Walker. There it is. Banks of the Wabash Festival officially underway this evening. This runs until the 3rd of June, so you have many days to get down there. It's at Fairbanks Park there in Terre Haute. It's going to be a great night tonight. Temperature's going to be a little cool once the sun starts to go down if you're headed out there, but it looks like a good night to head out to the Banks of the Wabash Festival. I wanted to show you the drought monitor. This just came in this morning. This is based on information through Tuesday morning, so it doesn't include yesterday or today, but a lot of our Illinois counties are now in what we call abnormally dry or the low scale. The next thing after after that would be moderate drought, which we do see some of that in western Illinois. I anticipate we're going to see this grow across the area in the next week because we really don't see much of a chance of rain over the next week, maybe a little bit longer. And this is an interesting fact here. Rainfall at the station so far has been 1.67 inches for the month. So I looked it up. The last time we had less than two inches of rain, which we do right now and will have for the entire month of May was in 2012. You remember what happened in 2012. I don't think we're headed there, but the point is, is it's not a good sign. We need to get some rain. I don't see much of that coming, and it's also going to be a little bit warmer than normal. May will end up being about 0.7 degrees above normal, and that's going to be mostly because at the very end of the month now, we're going to see some warmer days coming up, especially once we hit the first part of next week. Temperature-wise today, though, was cooler than normal. 73 for the high. We ought to be at 76. We we're 55. Ought to be at 58. So we were 3 degrees below on both the high and low today for the norms compared to where we should be. No rain, of course. I talked about 1.67 inches. That's where we will end the month in a week. Uh, right now, though, that's going to be three inches below normal on rainfall here at the TV station. Wabash River in Terre Haute continues a slow fall. It's down to just over six feet now there in Terre Haute. So we're looking at some cool weather tonight. Temperatures could drop into the upper 40s, but a nice Friday, a warming weekend, a lot of sunshine, although I think a fair amount of cloud cover on race day, which will keep the temperatures in check. And then heating up next week could be looking at a little bit of a heat wave as we head into next week with the warmest weather we've had so far this year. At the airport in Terre Haute now, we're at 72, but notice the relative humidity, 27%. The air is really dry. Dry air cools off quick when the sun goes down. So if you are going to the festival or anything outside tonight, once the sun starts to go down, it's going to get cool pretty quick. Now at 7 o'clock on our cycle cast, we're still looking good though. 71 sunshine, but notice a breeze, northeast wind at about 15 miles per hour. Temperatures right now, low 70s, so it's very pleasant out there now. Not really anything showing up on the water vapor satellite. We have a lot of dry air in place. We've got rain west and to the southeast of here, but locally, Nothing really to show, just a few clouds here and there. There's nothing at all on the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar. Next 48 hours, again, not much to show. Cool tonight, it'll be kind of chilly tonight. Tomorrow looks great, a lot of sunshine, upper 70s as we head into the day Saturday. We may start to see a little bit of cloud cover come in from the southeast with a developing storm southeast of here, but generally we're still talking pretty good. Some of these clouds will hang around, I think, for race day, giving us more cloud cover, but right now, looks like dry weather for activities for the holiday weekend. Forecast goes like this. For tonight, clear skies, cool. 47 for the low tonight. Then as we head into the day for tomorrow, sunshine a little bit warmer than today. Daytime high climbs back a little bit above normal. Highs near 80. And then after that, the weekend itself looks pretty good. It'll be warm, but not excessive. Temperatures by Memorial Day up to about 86. And look out, we could see 90s on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. That's your forecast. Sports is coming up next.